Thanks for joining us here on Morning Mix. AAA is saying this will be the busiest summer in terms of travel in years and millions will be taking to the roads on vacation trips. Therefore, you need to make sure your vehicle is ready to handle the traffic and the summer heat. Our mix mechanic Jeff Ford of Auto Resto Mode Mod is outside with Cliff Bennett to show us what you need to do to make sure your vacation doesn't get a flat. Hey, y'all. Hey guys, thanks, uh, thanks Taylor. Yeah, well, we're out here today with uh, Jeff Ford, again, owner and host of Auto Resto Mod. Uh, Jeff, appreciate you coming out here today. Hey, no problem. Uh, we had you out here for the winter time to talk about prepping your vehicle for winter. It's incredibly hot, so uh, a lot of people will look at their vehicles as a member of the family. What can we do to make sure that your vehicles are staying safe? Let's talk about the interior first. Well, one of the things you can do is get a sunshade for the windshield. Mm -hmm. The windshields on these newer cars are incredibly large, and you're pulling a lot of heat in through there. You get a sunshade, put it up inside the windshield. You won't scald your hands on the steering wheel when you get in to take off and go somewhere. Now, you brought in some also uh, some protective, like uh, maybe window tinting as well. Let's talk yeah, about no, there's that. There's also, you can do window tinting now. There is a ceramic UV coating tint that you can put on the windows. You can get it in a clear, so it can also be put on the windshield, and it will reduce the UV coming into the inside of the car. I'll save that interior and also make it a lot cooler on you whenever you're you know first getting in the car and it's a 4 billion degrees outside. Uh, speaking of that, everybody is probably putting their AC into uh, overdrive for this summer. What's the best way that you're able to cool your, the interior of your vehicle with your AC? All right, one of the best things you can do is when you first get in the car, you roll your windows down on right. the car to let some of that heat out. When you turn your air conditioning on, go all the way to full fan, and then also turn it off of recirculation on the AC. It's a little rotating thing you'll see right. on the button, right? You take that and don't put that on initially. Wait till the air gets cool coming into the car. You feel that cool air coming in, you can roll your windows up and then go to recirc because that'll take the air that's in the cabin and keep it moving and keep it cooling better and better and better. The one thing I will say is if you're taking long trips, don't run recirc the whole time because it will absolutely dry out the inside of the car. So. Okay, good points to have. Uh, let's go from the interior. Let's go now to uh, the exterior here. Uh, obviously, the paint jobs for a lot of vehicles are going to be taken care of uh, and also will probably be hit hard with the sun, right? Yes. Um, what you'll want to do on that, if you're looking at paint issues, you'll want to go in and make sure you keep the car waxed and also keep it clean. I mean, let's face it, it's your car. And I can't remember how to get the hood open. <laughs> It is his car, by the it way. It is my car. Uh, so while we're doing this, here, so. so let's talk engine now. Uh, engine safety. This is uh, basically the uh, blood and guts of your vehicle here. Yes, let's talk about the first thing about keeping the car cool with the keeping engine cool. coolant. Yeah, keeping the engine cool. You want to make sure your coolant levels on your coolant bottle over here are at your minimum or maximum. Minimum is when it's cold. Maximum is when it's warm. So this car is warm because I just drove it over here. So we're right where we need to be. If you see these starting to drop and you're having to add coolant to the car, you're probably want to take it to a service technician and get it checked out because you've got a coolant leak somewhere in the system. Okay. Uh, oil. Oil is the blood of the vehicle. What about that? Okay. Most of your modern cars will have a yellow dipstick. You want to pull that out and it will be marked for correct oil level. So you want to check and make sure your oil is a good level. Keep your oil changed at recommended intervals from your manufacturer, whatever that is. So in other words, if it's a 5,000, keep it changed at 5,000 miles. It'll be better for the engine. Your engine will hold up longer, and you'll be able to drive that thing for 300,000 miles. And you do see a change in that. It's no longer 3,000 miles, no, depending on the, the oil. Yes, because of the synthetic oils that we're using mostly now, your oil um, doesn't break down as badly as it did back in the day when we were using a lot of conventional oils. Right. Uh, let's talk about the battery. Uh, now, during the wintertime, cold crank amps, it can drain your battery. Is it affected during the summer? Not as much because you're not having to fight that cold temperature and the drops in temperature that will affect the battery ne negatively. So it's not as big an issue there as it would be in the wintertime. So I wouldn't worry as much about that. But always keep an eye on it. If the car is slow to start, you probably will need to have a battery. All right. Uh, lastly, let's talk about feet. We're talking tires here. It's a hot road. Yep. Uh, how can the summer affect your tires? Well, summer's going to be in effect because you're you're running you're running more in the summertime usually we're going on vacations we're taking the car out and doing things always check your tires um, what you want to do is just rotate the tires out a little bit and take a feel on the edges of the tires on the outside and on the inside if you feel what feels like kind of a knife edge on the outside
outside edges of your tires or the inside edges, you'll need to take that to an alignment technician and get that thing checked out to make sure you don't have a problem in the front end of the car. You'll also want to check what your minimum safe depth for your tires is. That event information is available online for whatever tire manufacturer you're using on your car. Check those depths and make sure your tires are in good shape because we get a lot of rain in the summertime. True. Less tread depth means less, uh, it'll, it'll tend to want to skate more. It'll want to, you know, hydroplane and send you into a ditch. Okay, good information here to keep your car. Uh, tell people where they can find you on YouTube. Oh yeah, we're on YouTube. It's autorestomod.com, A-U-T-O-R-E-S-T-O-M-O-D. Check us out on YouTube. We do classic car restoration videos. Uh, pretty much anything 1955 all the way up to the mid-70s. All right, appreciate it much, Jeff. Thanks very much. Have a good one. Uh, Taylor, I'm coming back to you. It's pretty hot out here right now. Man, I'm so glad I'm yeah. in this air conditioning. Thank you all for those tips, Jeff and Cliff.